Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the honeycomb pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a document. So we'll go to create new and then the dimensions of this, I'm just going to do 600 pixels by 600 pixels. We'll just leave our resolution at 300 RGB color mode and then our background contents we are going to select to uh, transparent and then we'll click create. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on the canvas here using command plus. Uh, before we begin, we're going to make sure um, some of your uh, Photoshop settings are set up. So we're going to go to view and then you will want to make sure that you have snap selected here and then also under show you're going to uh, make sure you have smart guides and then uh, select layer edges as well. So uh, the next step is we're going to go ahead and create our hexagon. So going to the shapes tools here, we're going to select the polygon tool and then up at the top, you're going to make sure it is set to six sides and then selecting shift and then you're going to go ahead and drag it out to create your hexagon shape. And then from here, you are going to rotate it. So we're going to hit shift and then just rotating it until we get the point up to the top. Uh, what the shift key does is it causes it to rotate at 15 degree increments. And then uh, from there, we're just going to go ahead and move it, center it a little bit here. And then uh, the next step is we are going to uh, duplicate this layer. So you can do that by right clicking and select duplicate layer or when you have it selected here on the canvas, you can hit the option for Mac users, um, Alt 4 uh, PC, and then you can just drag it out. You're going to head and create one uh, next to it here. And then we are going to uh, duplicate it again. Um, option key, dragging it out. And then you want the, um, the spacing to be even between the two. And then next we are going to, uh, selecting uh, two of these ones, the one in the middle and here on the side, we are going to uh, duplicate those ones as well. So we'll go option and drag it. And then you'll want to make sure um, that it is aligned to that center one. And then making sure your spaces are even here. We will uh, unselect there. And then doing that one more time, we'll go ahead and duplicate these here. We'll hit the option key, dragging it down, aligning it up and aligning your spacing there and then unselect there. So um, the next step is we are going to, um, selecting this for this one to the left here, we are going to uh, drag out some grid lines. So we will, um, and what you can do is with these rulers highlighted, and if you don't have the rulers, you can go to uh, filter and then uh, make sure rulers are selected here. And then dragging out the guide line, we are going to have it snap to the middle there. And then we'll do the same for uh, this middle one here. Dragging it out, snapping snapping it to the middle there and then on this top layer uh, selecting the one here we're going to drag it from the top having it snap to the middle and then this bottom one here dragging it from the top snapping to the middle there the next step is we are going to crop it so we'll select the crop tool here we'll just go ahead and just drag it out here and then bring it down uh, to our grid lines Okay, and then uh, with that area selected, we'll go ahead and hit the check mark to uh, crop it down. The next step is to define it as a pattern. So we're gonna go to edit, define pattern, and then you can give it a name. Click okay. And then we are going to create a, another document. So we're gonna go to file new. Uh, this time we're going to do the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So we're going to go at 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. We're going to have a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Our color mode is going to be RGB color. And then our background contents, we are going to switch it to white. And then you can click create. 
From here, we're going to create our pattern layer. So in the um, layers panel here, with the an adjustment layer, you're going to select pattern. And then on the drop down menu, we'll select our, our recent pattern here. And then um, when this dialog box is open, you have the option to uh, change the angle. You can scale it up, scale it down. Um, you can even move it around here on the canvas. If you want it back to the original, just select Snap to Origin. And then you can click OK. And then the next step is to uh, recolor our pattern. So going back to our Layers panel and adding an adjustment layer, we're going to select Solid Color. And then uh, from here, you can select a color. I'm going to go and select one of my swatch colors here and then select OK. And then the next step is to create a clipping mask. You can do that by right clicking and select Create Clipping Mask or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Um, hovering between the two layers, you're going to select Option Click for Mac users. That would be Alt Click. And then you have recolored your um, honeycomb hexagon pattern here. And then if you want to change the background, you can just add another um, solid color adjustment layer. And then you can uh, change out the color there if you want it two-tone. I kind of liked the um, just the white, so we'll go back to white for that. But that's a way to um, easily change the um, color of the background, background layer as well. Uh, next, we are going to go ahead and save our pattern. So we're going to go to File, Save As. Go ahead and give it a name. And then I select your folder. And then under Format Type, we're going to change it to JPEG. And then leaving the color profile selected here, we'll select Save. And then uh, for digital scrapbook paper, you want it saved to the highest quality here. So then you can just drag it over to the highest um, level here and then just click OK. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create a honeycomb pattern in Photoshop. Be sure to check out my other video tutorials on how to design patterns in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I'll leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.